The Emerald Isle, a land of rugged beauty, ancient history, and enchanting myths. Welcome to the Lakes of Killarney in County Kerry, Ireland. Our journey today takes us to an island steeped in history and legend in this fallen island. Welcome, adventurers! Today, we're embarking on a picturesque journey to the stunning Innisfallen Island on the lakes of Killarney. Get ready to be captivated by the island's mystical charm. We're starting our adventure on a traditional Irish boat, known as an open boat. We are setting off from the historic Ross Castle. Our adventure begins at Ross Castle Pier, where our trusty boat awaits. As we set sail, the cool Irish breeze whispers tales of ancient times. The tranquil water reflects the surrounding MacGillar Cuddy Reeks, Ireland's highest mountain range. On our journey, we pass by lush, emerald forests and rugged hills, a testament to Ireland's untamed beauty. As we glide across the serene waters of Loch Lean, the largest of the three lakes, we're surrounded by the breathtaking beauty of Killarney National Park. Keep an eye out for the native Irish wildlife. You might spot herds of red deer or playful otters. Bird lovers are in for a treat, with the chance to see rare white-tailed eagles, peregrine falcons, and many other bird species. As we near in this forlorn island, a sense of serenity envelops us. This is a place where time seems to stand still. And here we are, at the enchanting Innisfallen Island. Steeped in history and folklore, this magical place has been home to monks, scholars, and even the legendary King Brian Boru. Disembarking, we step into a verdant paradise. The island teems with native flora and fauna. Watch out for the sicker deer, descendants of those introduced here in the 19th century. Our path leads us to the ancient ruins of Innisfallen Abbey. Founded in the 7th century by Saint Finian the Leper, this site was once an influential centre of learning. Here, monks meticulously transcribed the Annals of Innisfallen, a chronicle of Ireland's medieval history. A quiet moment in the ruins lets you imagine the monks at their work, their quills scratching on parchment. As we stroll through the island's enchanting landscape, we come across the remnants of the monastery's herb garden. Here, monks once grew various plants for medicinal and culinary purposes. Amidst the verdant surroundings, you'll find ancient yew and oak trees, some of which are over 600 years old. Imagine the stories they could tell if they could speak. Some believe the yew trees to be as old as the abbey itself. Folklore says, yew trees guard the gateway to the other world, further steeping this island in mystique. The island's position offers breathtaking views of the surrounding lake and the distant mountains. It's easy to understand why monks chose this peaceful place for contemplation. We continue our journey through the network of trails, allowing the island's natural beauty to guide our path. As you wander through the island, be sure to keep an eye out for more wildlife. You might encounter the rare Kerry slug or see the elusive red squirrel scurrying through the trees. Our time on Innisfallen Island has come to an end, but the memories we've made will last a lifetime. This magical place, with its rich history, stunning landscapes, and abundant wildlife, has captured our hearts. As we board our boat, leaving the island behind, we carry with us memories of a time-locked paradise, a testament to Ireland's enchanting history and natural allure. From the tranquil lakes of Killarney to the historic Innisfallen Island, County Kerry offers a journey into Ireland's heart. Until our next adventure, Sloan Foil. Goodbye for now.